jelly any minute. Together with Western Brewery that my wife's prompted me, can I ask for your assistance? As this progresses, I may mention the words or phrase, so far. Would you all help me by echoing back, so good? <laughs> and, and that way I, I may just make it to the end. Can we just try that? So far? So good! Come on, one more with feeling! So far? So good! Okay, well, where should I begin? I, with Will's parents, Sue and Phil, and my wife Jackie, we would like to say how much it means to have you all with us today to celebrate the wedding of Mr. and Mrs. Power. A few thank yous from me. Um, thank you to Stephanie and her team here at the Secret Garden for a wonderful presentation so far. So good. <laughs> and what I'm sure we'll all be enjoying in a few minutes' time and later on this evening. Thank you to Will for finding Sarah again, and vice versa, or we wouldn't be here today. I think the very first time may have been back in 1998, at a table tennis camp not far from here in Ashford, where they both had, I haven't got any now, but they both had curtains for their hair. Um, they managed to part them and gave lovingly, fateful glances to each other. <laughs> But most of all, thank you to you. It truly is. <laughs> so far. <laughs> it truly is wonderful to see so many friends and family on both sides. Some who have travelled so far. So good. To be with us. Um, Phil's cousin Mildred. Mildred. <laughs> All the way from Scotland, and Auntie Vera journeying from Peyton. Sarah's granddad, Frank, and Molly too, up from the coast. Our brothers and sisters, Jean, Anne, Don, Mary, Julie, Rob, and families. Lovely to see you all. Family and friends too from Leeds, and further up north as well. Journeying from an extended stay in Uganda, back home to Australia, it's Dan and Jones. They couldn't resist the opportunity of some free food and beer, <laughs> took a slight detour and are with us today. It's great you made it. We miss some special people, oh, crikey, I'm dripping, <laughs> who unfortunately could not come and send our best wishes to them. Jackie's sisters, Trish and Jane and Ian, and he's not a sister, but <laughs> <laughs> And Will's cousin James, too, thinking of you and your continuing recovery. Also my nephew Stephen and niece Kate and family, who are probably enjoying Disney rides right now or, or yeah, pretty yeah. soon. <laughs> Can we not stand but just raise the glass to more? Have some friends. Have some friends. <laughs> I think I need to say a few words to Will and you all about my daughter. Some say she can disintegrate a table tennis bat by touching it to a thigh. Sarah. Some say she can navigate a drive through McDonald's without touching the side. Some even say she can drink a paddling pool dry with just a straw. Do you remember that from? Yeah. <laughs> no, she is not the stick. She is, of course, Saz. Sazzy Big Bum Minger. Who <laughs> <laughs> no. face hub? Sarah. <laughs> Shoe shop shubbard, though no more. But today, for one day only, Sarah. One day. <laughs> <laughs> you are my number one. That's right. I'm into that one. Like a good red wine, Sarah is an 80s vintage. Maturing nicely so far. So is. And number two in the lineup of our kids. You may be surprised to know that Sarah was not always a veggie. 
at one time even more cannibal than carnivorous. As back in primary school days, she was once found sitting rather nervously outside the head's office, having performed a Luis Suarez and bitten one of her best friends, Ufi. <laughs> You've got this to come, Will. <laughs> like Suarez and probably the item football team too, when they get hungry and chew up the opposition, Sarah was let off with a verbal warning. Primary progressed to secondary and Weald of Kent School. A few Weald of Kenters here. <laughs> Sarah really enjoyed her time there, making lots of friends and headed down a sporty route, representing the school at netball, hockey, table tennis and more. She found lifelong friends, and with others here today, there is Kate Colliani, looking splendid. No hedge backwards today. <laughs> <laughs> Uni beckoned. But, be <laughs> but before then, a gap year, and our innocent so far. So good. <laughs> daughter was waved off at Heathrow, in the quotes, care of Dan and Joe, <laughs> to help a Latin link project in Argentina. Four months later, when she was waved back in again, Dan and Joe had let us down. <laughs> Sarah now looking dishevelled, sporting piercings everywhere, malnourished, having lived on too many galaxy bars, <laughs> now carnivorous with all that argy-bargy beef. No, not for long. And she even invited them both back to live with us. <laughs> Truthfully, we couldn't have been more happy to get <clears throat> So uni years. <laughs> At Eastbourne, studying sports and exercise science. What should I say about that time? <laughs> I, I, I've tried so hard to find any incriminating photos or stories, but there don't appear to be any. <laughs> People's lips are sealed and your reputation remains first class. <laughs> In like everything she's involved with, Sarah has the gift of making friends. With all of her student houses, represented here today, including two more bridesmaids, Lauren and Andrea, looking lovely as well. Aww. I think if there was space in her house this morning, the bridesmaids count would have gone into double fix. <laughs> Joe, Charlie, Amy, you look lovely too. And you can rely on your Auntie Sarah for any advice in the future as to what not to do at uni. <laughs> I won't say you look lovely, Josh, just tidy. <laughs> Your student houses, guys, at Eastbourne were interesting. <laughs> and I will always have the memory of you holding Sarah in such high esteem. Creating for her at 16 High Road a memorial bust on the lounge wall. <laughs> <laughs> and voting Sarah top of the charts repeatedly. <laughs> or was that Sarah doing the repeating? <laughs> Will would have been especially proud <laughs> that her well-known attribute of being thrifty came to the fore. When she negotiated the cheapest room after having fiddled the house letting to be for six rather than five, and then even managed at the end to sublet her room for a time to cats, another student, and rats. A real rats that took her instant shine to Lauren, joining her in bed for breakfast. At uni, Sarah was a mentor, student ambassador, freshers, fortnights, expert tutor, alongside maintaining an excellent relationship with the local police. <laughs> you too, Nick me. <laughs> she even found time to help the local elderly, knocking on their door at midnight <laughs> to check they were okay. <laughs> Seriously, I, I remember at graduation time... I didn't have drink. <laughs> Going over the photos on Facebook of you all and looking at yours, Sarah, and seeing a comment from a fellow student. 
I can't remember the exact words, but Sarah, you are the living proof that someone could literally do everything at uni and still end up with a first. <laughs> Sarah is now teaching those life skills with a little bit of biology and physics thrown in to the next generation just up the road at Highworth Girls. And I gather so far, so enjoying every minute, we're all very proud. Now it's, uh, it's time to spot the song pun. Spot the song pun. <laughs> and a loud groan please when you do. Sorry about this, sir. <laughs> Imagine yourselves on a Saturday night, glued to the TV, watching intently the early rounds of The Voice 2014. Sarah comes on stage and sings her heart out with her famous compilation of Disney hits that we have heard so many times before. As her last verse of Ooby Doo, I Wanna Be Like You starts to fade away and Sarah's eyes begin to look tearful in knowing realisation that no one wants her. <laughs> in the last seconds, one by one, the four judges suddenly turn around. She is now in floods of happiness tears and left with an amazingly difficult decision as to who to choose. She looks first at Kylie and remembers the years of the locomotion, <laughs> Rome, yeah. <laughs> going to Weald of Kent and her friends there. I think she actually went by bus, not the train. And spinning around yeah. on the netball court. As she thinks to herself, I should be so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> she looks right and at Tom. Bit of a sex bomb. <laughs> and reminding Sarah of the green, green grass of home. Where it's not unusual <laughs> for her to scrounge a meal and drop off the washing. To which Jackie is always Delilah Ted. <laughs> yeah. Again, she looks right and onto the face of Ricky, <coughs> aka Andrea, Bubs, Lauren, Nikki, Rach, Steen, Scott, Wilson. <laughs> The Lou Roll Kazi Chiefs. Oh. <laughs> Oops, Kaiser Chiefs, sorry. <coughs> With memories of all her friends at uni and time there. I certainly predict a riot. Uh. <laughs> Finally, I look back along the row of judges, and at the far end, not looking a dope, but fresh, <laughs> is Will I Am. <laughs> or today, Will I do? <laughs> or even possibly in our family, will I do do? <laughs> Worried that she may black eyed pee herself, <laughs> Sarah, Sarah looks, wonders, where is the love? <laughs> then boom, boom, pow, she realises I got a feeling, and Will, of course, wins her heart. So clever. <laughs> <laughs> Soon Phil Will has won our hearts too. And he's a real credit to you both. Now Will is one of those rare people who unlike virtually all of both our families is not a teacher <laughs> nor works in a school and we had an immediate bonding on first sight as between us we can at last experience a conversation that doesn't include years seven, eight or nine. <laughs> Albeit about accounting or computers. I think we've got some of those here as well. Accountants. Those exciting topics. <laughs> Alongside Sarah, we now share the love of Knock Knock too. Monopoly deal to the initi initiated. I, I let him win occasionally. <laughs> Will, also rather strangely, collects sofas. <laughs> Come on, so far, so good. And with a running count up to three, so far. So good. I, I feel I need to give you both a bit of advice about this before lots more little sofas so good. <laughs> come along, as we hope they do. Back to that imaginary Saturday night, 
Will and Sarah, both of you coupled, coupled, cuddled up on the big sofa. So good, so good. So good. Will has been looking forward all week to a lengthy programme of England's 2014 World Cup highlights. <laughs> and on at the same time, on another channel, Sarah desperately wanting to watch possibly a very similar programme, the latest episode of Britain's Got No Talent. <laughs> Who wins? I, I have the answer. Mike, can you uh, bring the stage? <coughs> I have been dropping. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> Josh. Something for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, guys. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Something for work. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, just look around. <laughs> keep looking, keep looking. together in 50, 60, 70 years time, entering the wood church, veterans doubles, <laughs> and who are, after whoever wins, you can look at each other and whisper, so far. So so good. Good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a toast to the bride and groom, Sarah and Will, so far? So, so good. good. <laughs> 